Hey there, investing aficionados. It's your host, Iggy, the Investing Iguana, back with another thrilling episode that's packed with insights to level up your investing game. Today, we're venturing into the financial heart of Singapore to scrutinize three stocks that have hit their 52-week lows. Is there a glimmer of hope for a rebound, or are they sinking ships? Together, we'll dissect the fundamentals, assess the market sentiment, and gauge the potential for a bounce back. So, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things investing. Without further ado, let's dive right in. We're working with a report from Yahoo Finance that showcases three Singaporean companies whose stocks are riding the low tide. Let's break it down and explore the prospects. Capital and China Trust, SGX, AU8U, is a real estate investment trust, REIT, that owns and operates a diversified portfolio of commercial and retail properties in China. The REIT's portfolio includes shopping malls, office buildings, and business parks. Capital and China Trust share price has been on a roller coaster ride in recent years, reaching a 52 week low of 88 cents in March 2023. This was due to a number of factors, including the ongoing trade war between the United States and China, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the weakening Chinese yuan. Despite the challenges it has faced, Capital and China Trust has maintained a strong occupancy rate of 93.1%. This is a testament to the quality of its assets and its management team's ability to attract and retain tenants. The REIT has also seen a notable rise in shopper traffic and tenant sales in recent months. This is a positive sign that the Chinese economy is recovering from the pandemic. Capital and China Trust has a healthy gearing ratio of 40.2% and a debt cost of 3.54%. This means that the REIT is not overly leveraged and is able to service its debt obligations comfortably. The REIT also has a significant portion of its debt fixed rate, which protects it from rising interest rates. Capital and China Trust is a well-managed REIT with a diversified portfolio of high-quality assets. The REIT has a strong occupancy rate and tenant sales, and its debt levels are manageable. While the REIT's share price has been volatile in recent years, it is now trading at a significant discount to its net asset value. This could present an opportunity for investors to buy in at a bargain price. However, it is important to note that the Chinese real estate market is facing a number of challenges, including a slowdown in economic growth and a government crackdown on speculative activity. This could impact Capital and China Trust's performance in the near term. Overall, Capital and China Trust is a high-risk, high-reward investment. Investors should carefully consider their own risk tolerance and investment objectives before investing in the REIT. Sheng Sion Group is a leading supermarket chain in Singapore with a sprawling network of 68 outlets. It is a key player in the retail sector and is known for its competitive prices and wide selection of products. Despite its strong market position, Sheng Sion's share price has been hovering near its 52-week low. This is likely due to a combination of factors, including Rising costs Sheng Siong has been facing rising costs in recent months, such as higher labor and utility costs. This has impacted its net profit margins. Competition The retail sector in Singapore is highly competitive, with a number of major players vying for market share. This competition is likely to continue to put pressure on Sheng Siong's margins. Expansion into China, Sheng Siong has recently expanded into China, which is a new and challenging market. This expansion could take some time to become profitable. However, Sheng Siong is also taking steps to address these challenges and drive future growth. The company is expanding its network of stores in Singapore and China, and is also investing in new technologies and initiatives to improve its efficiency and customer experience. Here are some of Sheng Siong's aggressive growth strategies. Expansion into China. Sheng Siong has opened its first two supermarkets in China in 2023. The company plans to open more stores in China in the coming years. Continuous tendering for new store spaces. Sheng Siong is actively tendering for new store spaces in Singapore. The company plans to open more stores in Singapore in the coming years. 
Investment in New Technologies and Initiatives Sheng Siang is investing in new technologies and initiatives to improve its efficiency and customer experience. For example, the company is launching a new e-commerce platform and is also testing out new store formats. These aggressive growth strategies could help Sheng Siang to rebound from its current stock price slump. However, it is important to note that these strategies are also associated with risks. For example, the expansion into China could be challenging and could take some time to become profitable. Kimli LTD, SGX, 1D0, is a Singaporean coffee shop and food outlet chain operator. It is one of the largest coffee shop operators in Singapore, with over 80 coffee shops and 160 food stalls under its management. Kimli also operates a chain of tender fresh restaurants, which serve Western and Asian cuisine. Kimli's recent performance has been mixed. Its revenue for the financial year ended September 30, 2022, fell 33.1%, while its net profit fell 13.4%. The decline in revenue was attributed to a number of factors, including the COVID-19 pandemic, rising food and beverage costs, and manpower shortages. Despite the challenging environment, Kimli has continued to expand its business. In recent months, it has opened a new coffee shop and a tender fresh restaurant. These expansions are a sign of Kimli's confidence in the long-term growth of the food and beverage industry in Singapore. Kimli's shares have fallen by over 20% in the past year. This decline in share price may be attributed to a number of factors, including the company's recent financial performance, the challenging operating environment, and the overall market sentiment. However, Kimli also has a number of strengths that could support a potential rebound in its share price. These strengths include its strong brand recognition, its large network of food outlets and coffee shops, and its diversified product portfolio. Overall, Kimli is a company with a mixed outlook. It is facing a number of challenges, but it also has a number of strengths. Investors who are willing to take on some risk may want to consider investing in Kimli for the long term. Kimli's recent expansions are a positive sign as they show that the company is still confident in its growth prospects. However, it is important to note that these expansions are also risky given the current challenging operating environment. Investors should carefully consider the risks and rewards before investing in Kimli. They should also monitor the company's financial performance closely to ensure that it is on track to achieve its growth targets. Let's weave in a dash of broader economic context. The post-pandemic recovery is a mixed bag across sectors. While retail and F and AMP B face headwinds from rising costs, the REIT sector in China may find tailwinds from economic recovery and consumer spending. Between the pages of financial reports and market sentiments lies a narrative of opportunity and risk. For instance, Sheng Siang's venture into China could open a new revenue stream, while Capital and China Trust's robust portfolio occupancy is a testament to its enduring appeal. The Singaporean market is bustling with opportunities, and these three stocks are a testament to the dynamic nature of investing. Each stock has its narrative, with layers of fundamentals and market dynamics to explore. The road to a rebound may be paved with challenges, but with a keen eye, the discerning investor can navigate the waves to potentially lucrative shores. Thank you for joining me on this financial exploration. If you found today's episode enlightening, smash that like button, share it with your investment buddies, and drop a comment below on your take on these stocks. Your engagement fuels this channel, and together, we'll continue to demystify the world of investing. Until our next financial expedition, this is Iggy, the Investing Iguana, signing off. Keep investing and keep growing. Remember, the journey of investing is a marathon, not a sprint. So, equip yourself with knowledge, stay curious, and let's achieve financial success together.